Raise your hands, everyone who started their winter sowing and now the seedlings are already starting to poke through the soil and you're ahead of the game. Yeah, not me either. But hey, that's gardening. Some seasons you're ahead of the game and some seasons you're not, and it's okay. There's things happening in the garden, lots in bloom, and I'm gonna take you around and show you today. So it didn't really have to go very far because the rock purslane is the bright pink behind me, what you see flowering, and it's just beautiful. We're lucky enough here in zone 9B that this can actually bloom on and off all year long. Just gotta get in there every once in a while and deadhead it, and I need to do that soon. Let's go find what else is blooming. And I have this Mexican sage too that I need to go back a little trim a little bit off. Take off the deadheads there. But it's doing really good. So yeah, let's go explore. And right in front of the cactus patch are some Cape rain daisies in bloom. And there's the spiral. Got some color there. And I'll turn you around. We'll go for a little walk around the spiral. Let's go. Those Indian blanket flowers are still going. And look at this, isn't this precious? Just outside of the perimeter of the garden and I have some calendula that are blooming and they're really pretty. I know I did a short recently, a couple shorts on calendula. This one particular one is really a favorite of mine because around the edges, it just has this beautiful, beautiful color. This neglected area is Catherine's garden that I started for my granddaughter, Catherine. So when she comes over, she can play. And um, she put those watering cans there. I did not, <laughs> that is a cute touch though. And then I have more calendula coming up in here and blooming. It's really pretty. And another Cape Rain Daisy mixed in with the aeoniums. And so I some of the plants that I have in my garden that I can eat and I'm not allergic to are calendula. And I add this to my salad and also nasturtium. Nasturtiums are edible and they're like kind of a peppery flavor. And you can add those. I've done it when I'm running low on salad, mixed greens. Then I will add it to the lettuce that I have. And yeah, it works great. Because really, who wants to run to the grocery store if you don't have to? And here we have an aloe. This is a new acquisition. Mom got it for me when we went shopping this week. And um, I just am in love with them. I've got three of them. I'm excited, really excited to get them in the ground. So hopefully that'll come soon. I'll need help because they're in huge pots, but that's exciting. Let's see what else there is. And right at the base of this cactus, isn't that sweet? Look at those, just beautiful. And this is another one of the three aloes I got the other day. And I'll show you the third. And this is the third aloe of the three. That pretty. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, um, but they usually do really, really good here, and the hummingbirds like them, so I'm in. And so I'll take you just along here. Got a lot going on here. Bulbs have come up. I think those are agapanthus, but they never bloom for me. I've even divided them and not had a lot of luck. I do fertilize, that hasn't helped. So uh, if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. Um, more bulbs coming up in there. Yeah. Mixed with nasturtium. And more bulbs. more daffodils so pretty soon we're going to have an explosion of yellow in the garden that's going to be a pretty change mm. 
So there's more of my daffodils that have come up. Hi, Lexi. Lexi's here. Lexi loves my garden. Another newbie, new cactus. Isn't that pretty? You like cactus? It came with weeds. Isn't that great? <laughs> I'll get those out of there. Just haven't got around to it yet. But yeah. So lots. The sunshine came out too. It was so dull and dreary this morning. And now the sun's out. And it's just fantastic. I love this. A little bit of a gentle breeze going. And it's just fantastic. So you can see with the purple fountain grass, they provide so much height in the garden when it's lacking that I just don't want to trim them back all the way. So I'm going to do it in stages, like I said, cut around the perimeter like I did with that one. And because it's still green inside, so it's not gone into dormancy, but it will soon, and I'll need to cut it back. Uh, so, but stages. I have a hard time letting go of things, too. <laughs> kind of like over the summer when I had the cornflowers growing around the spiral. I didn't want to take them out, too, but I had to. It needed to be done. This is Betty Blue. And I got Betty Blue a couple months back, and she's a weeping blue cedar, and I love her. I hope she does well. So far, so good. So excited for that. It's gonna, she's gonna get pretty big, but they have just this funky form, and that's what I like about it. And more of the paper white daffodils in the pot. So yeah, there's some good happening in the garden, even though it's winter. My salvias look so sad. Um, it's pathetic. I've never looked, had them look so bad. Uh, anybody with salvia advice, and I'm talking about the salvia gregi, um, yeah, they're just looking horrible, and I don't know what to do for them. This one's looking fairly healthy, but that's a seedling that's self-seeded. I cut back the other one really hard and because it just looks sad so I don't know it's maybe time to pull them and replace them with something else so that's sad because the hummingbirds love them and then my rosemary is doing really well it's actually growing through the pot on the bottom I can't even move the pot um, so yeah, I'm afraid to tear the roots. So again, if anybody has any suggestions on that, if they think it will uh, do okay if I do end up uh, pulling some of the roots up with it, uh, I don't know. I'm afraid to do it. So let me know you experienced gardeners out there. And this is a, a new succulent. Isn't she pretty? Love that. Thanks for joining Garden Discovery today. It's been a fun tour around the garden, looking at all the blooms and looking at new things that are emerging. I'm so excited about the daffodils coming. I hope everybody has a great week, a great day, and enjoy life. Get out there and garden your hearts out. Bye.